Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Where we're currently watching the bus here going from Count to Ilminster, which is quite a long route. We recently got these new towns hooked up to our whole network system. And it's all of a sudden just started to rapidly make them grow, which is amazing. Uh, today I want to try and look at Ilminster a little bit more because that could be the gateway to setting up more passengers to um, our passenger airplanes, which we also added in last episode. Now, I did add a couple of trains that bring passengers to them. I added in three brand new trains. Well, two brand new trains and extended a current train system, which we kind of need to look back at them because they didn't make as much money, or actually, they don't make any money. And I thought that would be pretty cool, but they're actually not so i want to try and switch them out to bus routes and i'll show you for example right now your boy here at Beerley. so we have a passenger train uh no passenger plane uh route now set up and my thought behind it was and it's in two places well it's in three places but i'll show you here for example um train network all sweet and it's not connected to the airport so what i did is i created another train line i just went to this station which made the passengers pass over the only problem is, these trains are so expensive to run. Look at their finances, they never make any money. And it will make more sense if I turned it into a bus route. Now, funnily enough, it's okay for this airport. And that's because it extends off a current train. And uh, because that's linked up to so many towns and stuff like that, and it's also a interchange, not only for the plane, but for the bus route here that goes to Ilminster and Wokingham, that makes it commercially viable, which is good for us. So I don't have to change that one. It's just the other one, oh, big lag there, that we have over here uh, in Halesworth. Not great. So we have to kind of change things up slightly, which we'll be doing today. So guys, if you enjoy Transport Fever 2, want to see more of it in the long run, then make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new right here, please make sure you do subscribe. Uh, but let's sort this out then. So first things first then, we get the airport link A and B. I'm first going to sell the train. So let me select both of them here. Uh, not A and B, B and H for the two towns. Select both trains and we're going to sell all those vehicles. Nice. We're then going to get both of the lines here. Okay, we have to delete them ourselves. Boom. Deleted. Which means then I can get rid of what I added in. Delete you. Because we tried and it didn't work out. So we're just going to revert back to a simple system. Now, I did get the extra little bit of station in there. And there's no need to delete it because... Well, actually, do you know what? There probably is no little bit needed to delete it. Because it... it Probably takes a little bit away from that house there. And there we go. We're pretty much now all back up and running. So let's set up a bus route then. Now, I do want it to be connected to this train station in some way, shape, or form. It might mean that I have to destroy a couple of buildings, but look how big Halesworth is now becoming. It's juicy. Um, passenger. Now, this is only good for... Uh, stop passengers to place and so on. Bush of trams. Oh no, we can use this. Sorry. I was going to think about putting a depot in. There's no need to put a depot in, boys. So let's drop this pretty much uh, here. Right in the entrance to the airport. Sounds about right, right? Or is that a little bit closer? Let me go streets. Can I bring this one out a little bit? I don't know if that's really going to work or not, but... Nah, we'll just stick it up here. It's all good. So if I drop that there... Now, I could do a nice little looped system to also integrate more passengers on this bus route. Because we don't really have a bus that passes through, really, the whole of Halesworth. So I could have one that stops at here. The, um, the docks there. And if I do one here... Um, I could do one up here. I could do one just there. I'll do this one here. So it's close to the train station. But also to the big centre of the city. And then we'll do one there as it heads back out. 
So if we create a new line, and we go there, to there, to there, 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 and there. And I'm going to change the color so we can see it a little bit more in, uh, in Halesworth. Yeah, we'll go with that. So that's all it's really going to do. I mean, I could maybe help it out a little bit by doing some better streets. Like I could bring this down. This originally did come down to a certain degree there. To connect that up like that. So it has an entry point in there. So that will change the actual route itself to come down. Rather than come back in here and trying to wiggle through all of that. So that should be more beneficial than just taking passengers to and from. Because now it's going to be also transporting passengers around Halesworth. So like how we did from the other places. You know, like how we did for... Um, where did I do it again right now? Like uh, the loops here for Rugby. We did one for Market Drayton, Topsum, and, and Blexley as well. We can't need to do one for like Brentford and stuff like that to make that grow. But, yeah. We'll see how things rock and roll anyway. We have a little depot over here that we can use. So let's buy some vehicles, passenger... And I feel like it's going to be kind of cool. Do I go electric or that? I'm going to go. I'm going to go for these. And I feel like we could do potentially three of them. You reckon we can get away with three? Do you know what? We'll start with two, and then we'll see how things go after that. Then. So it's line one at the moment, and we'll call line one. We'll rename it real quick, and we'll call it the. H loop or Halesworth loop. Easy enough, right? Okay, then. So let that do its thing. We should have passengers arriving here, there, and everywhere as time goes on. And we'll do the exact same thing now for Beerly. Now, this one won't be that over the top like uh, the other one. Like, well, that elaborate, should I say. Can I delete that cross in there? Now, I'll just leave them there because I just want to get rid of the train tracks, but there's nothing really else I need to do, to be honest. And in terms of a bus stop buildings, all I've got to do is place it here. Actually, I'll place it on this side so they can walk over. That's all I've got to do. Now, we'll try and see what we can do here. So if I had... Because these roads are all looking kind of weird and all over the place here, aren't they? Right, so if... I'm trying to give it a little bit more structure. We had a road there, and that... Came out to there, that was the... Oh, excuse me. Oh, we're in the middle of an autosave, that's why. <laughs> Um, it just gets a little bit funky, doesn't it? Right, if I delete that, and delete that. And let it, let it decide itself what it's going to do. Oh, actually, do you know what? I could actually create or make the roads do something. So I bring that in the middle. At least then we, we're kind of semi-creating some structure to the place. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to this then. So we've got a bus stop there. Let's say our next one is going to be here on the outskirts as the town will eventually start to grow. We do the next one just there. This one just here. Do one just there. One up here. And that should be enough. And I'm going to tear through now a couple of roads. So if I did one there. Because I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying, Beerly, this is how your road system is going to be. This is how it's going to work. And if I created that one there, it's kind of bend round. I'm kind of predicting some growth. So actually, I could get away with one more bus stop, couldn't I? So we had that one there. And then we'll finish it up with one there. So this will be something that will probably make a small amount of money to begin with. But then as time goes on, uh, and then the new growth happens on these empty bus stops, 
then it should make more money. So this one, we kind of taking a long run on it. So we call this the B loop. There we go. And where is the B loop? We'll give it a little bit more color as well. So I'll make this one red as well, just so we can see it a little bit better in this sea of almost brown. <laughs> and do we have a bus depot over here? We not a bus depot, vehicle depot. We don't. So vehicle or road depot, should I say? Which place just here? Now I'm only going to go for one bus on this loop because this one I have a feeling might not be that amazing. So B loop. There we go. And let that do its thing. So that in itself will now technically stop me losing money from the two train linkages that we had. And then slowly, hopefully, make me money from these. We'll just see how things go. So we got the passenger line just there for the train coming in, which there's a bus stop just over here. There's a bus stop just over here. And they're all connecting. It's kind of fine. Uh, well, I, I mean, I could edit it to kind of link it a little bit closer, but I will add them to walk and spread out because some might choose different bus stops over others. So we'll see how it goes. But it all comes kind of interconnected in a way. Right, so while I do that then, let me just check out the, the, the routes that I'm losing the most money on. And I'm hoping that it should now be, yeah, just the two new uh, loops that we've just created that we're losing money on, which is good. I'll take it, mate. I'll freaking take it. So the top someone apparently is not making that much money. But it's got a lot of people waiting at each bus stop. So I think that's just an awkward timing. Right, let's take a look at Ilminster then. So reason why I mentioned that I want to kind of create it as a little small hub is because I've noticed that it needs tools. There's a tool factory here that needs planks. There's a plank factory or sawmill here that needs wood. And the wood's just there. How easy is that for here for a simple loop? That sounds freaking amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> it literally does. So, well, we can create something pretty nice. Now, do I go and create a train line? I think that might be the best option or the easiest way to do it. And, right, this could actually be kind of interesting. Because I also have over here a... Uh, forestry or forest that I could pick up wood drop it there pick up planks drop it there pick up tools drop it there pick up more wood to drop back at the planks to go pick up more wood to pick up planks so there's more planks going to the tools and, and vice versa but it would mean you're trying to integrate it within this train line too which would be quite nice to do so let me pause for a second because it does mean deleting a bit of this so I can integrate it within it right, this is gonna be amazing right buildings cargo need the side one a long one and oh, do you think I should create a road first that kind of maybe because the thing I've got going on right now is the fact that this is where the edge of the town is gonna be so if I add that to there, and the road is the edge, if that makes sense. So, oh, no, wrong button. If I just get that right, and then if I bulk it out by three, because you never know when I'm going to need other stations. So I'm just kind of keeping my options open. And then if we delete more of these tracks, so about here... Like I said, I'm keeping my options open with this. Delete back, so I've got more of a bigger run-up with them. And then tracks. We'll get that one. It hooks up to there. That one can hook up to there. That one goes to there. To there. And then we just need to do the signals. So, okay, I'm just making sure I get the right sides. Alright, it's all done. To 
to there. Okay, that's all done. So I can now go back into play mode. Which, that works just fine. Alright, it's going to be quite exciting now. So, let's try and connect something up then. Let's try and do something with this. So, buildings then. So, I just need one track now at this point. So, there we go. One track or would I create a loop? A loop of trains going round and round of the merry-go-round. <sighs> then this is this is the tough one now, isn't it? Now we'll just do one train. We'll just do one train and let it do its thing. Um, okay, so the need a train that goes there. This one's going to be slightly awkward. Because of its spacing. I wonder if I can get a road. Just to maybe run diagonal. Yes, I can. That will still integrate with the, uh, <laughs> the what you call it, the sawmill. And then I'll place this on that side there. So we've got one there, one there, one there. And one through there. Right. Now, this is going to be the interesting one. Trying to get the train tracks now all connected. That will need to go here. That's going to have to go through. So that's going to, that's carving out really bad the slight mountain that we have. And that goes to there. To there and yeah it's it's as simple as that really isn't it so what would happen is if i create a new line so here it's picking up a full load of oh hold on of wood then it drops off the wood here so it unloads the planks uh no wood sorry and then it will load planks if there's any then it will go to there and it will unload uh, any planks and load up some tools. Then it will go to here, which it will then unload any tools it has. Then it will go over to here, which will pick up a full load of wood. There we go. Then it will bring you all the way to the plank place again, which it will then unload. Sorry what that's exactly what we want it to do and then it repeats the cycle again i'm hoping i've just got that right i'm giving i'm, I'm putting faith in myself that i got it right and i'll check it later if i got it wrong <laughs> but let me just rotate this so then we need to create a train that can hold all of it now my damn auto save is making stuff disappear tracks there we go Right, I think we're ready to go. So, buy a vehicle. Uh, electric. Nah, we'll go diesel. There we go. So then cargo. I need the one that carries wooden planks. So we'll get quite a couple of the. We'll get a few of these. Capacity of 200. Makes sense. <laughs> right? Right, guys? And then, what carries the tools? The boxcar. So, I'm going to give that an extra capacity of 100. Just to see what would happen. So, 37 million this is going to cost me. It's a good job I got the money, right? Line one. And then we'll see how this goes. So I should start to see, yeah, the, the, the wood already now loading up. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to take a while before it gets that full load of uh, wood there. But I'm hoping this will work out. And it will slightly start to grow Illminster as well, because it's providing it with a little bit of tools. You've got the passenger lines all hooked up. And do you think we should upgrade this road here? Because it's eventually going to be... Well, it's only really people from coming from Cairn here, isn't it? Calm, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know if I need to do a bypass road or whatnot. Not a bypass, but a large road, if that makes sense. 
how much would it ruin the place? You can't do it there because of that. Uh, I mean, I could do it here as maybe it passes through. Right, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to slightly destroy parts of the town right now, which you know I love doing. There we go, passing through. Which starts so much earlier. So that becomes the semi-bypass, even though it kind of tears through the middle of the town, almost. It becomes a semi-bypass, rather than cutting through the middle, the heart of it. You just kind of go around the edge. So we just start seeing people using that, who just want to completely skip... Oh, bang the microphone. Go, who want to completely skip Illminster. So we'll see how that goes. And then... I'll add in what would be then future roads. We'll do like um simple like well the simple roads first. And just let them naturally upgrade themselves over time. I feel like I want to delete that road as well. And bring that down. I've, I've, I mean, I've demolished quite a bit of it, but once we, uh, once this starts to make a move, it's got 200 pieces of wood right now. Right, is that gonna go? Does this vehicle? Oh no! Okay, I realize what he's meant to do. It's asking for a. Uh, when it says a full load, it's also trying to wait for um like other st the box cars to fill up as well. I just realised my error there. Right, sweet. We're now tooting along, boys. We're now tooting along, which this is now going to get a huge chunk of wood coming in. So that's get that gets a double whammy on both ways. So the reason I did it both ways as well, so it makes money coming back. Wait, wait, wait! Something's not right in this loop. Pause. Something's not right on this loop already. So it gets to here. And it should... Oh no, it's unload. Sorry. Unload, load. Fool. Then... Un yeah, then that, that should be fine. When it gets to uh, Upper Eelminster again... Un yeah, okay, right. It oh, my bad. Now I've got to go through this whole loop making no money. All right, let it do what it's got to do. God damn it, Seniac. <laughs> Leave me alone. Right. Anyway. Let me check in on now. How much of a dent did I just make? Yeah, it's gone down a bit. But we should be all good anyway. Right, okay, 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 okay. So let that do what it's got to do. And that's not bringing any passengers in that there, that line, that train line. But I don't know whether... I would do that or not. Because what I could do as well... Is I could create... A juicy little setup... Uh, with boats... For um, Drewsbury, Stockton Tees... Either to bring it in, I mean, the, the logical thing to do would maybe go to Tees to Dewsbury, down into here to Ilminster. But if you think about it, if I did Dewsbury to Stockton upon Tees to, to Cowan here instead, then I can utilize the, the people coming from this town and this town to get into there. So I've, I've made money shipping them over, then make money getting them on the bus down to Ilminster, and then the bus then to Ilminster to the airport or whatever. That's the way I can maximize the most amount of money with moving passengers. So that would be the way I go forward on that. You would think anyway. But it's where would be the best position to place the dock? Probably there. Because I can also then get some hovercrafts coming from St. Ives as well. 
Yeah, that sounds about right. Right, let's see what I can come up with here. So, let's uh, rotate you. So, obviously you want it as close as possible to... Well, I seem walking distance to the, uh, the bus stop over there. But I want a good location that I can configure this. Um, delete that there. Passenger, have the large one in instead. And then the landing, the large landing. That's all we need for that. That sets that up there for accepting passengers. Uh, the Stockton one here is going to be... Uh, it's more of a slightly difficult location, this one is, isn't it? But if we do it where this road... Hang on. Bring that road... That road would maybe continue down to here. I'm going to have to demolish the town to eventually make it grow again. That will come in to go to there. I know they're going to hate me for doing that. Oh, look at that there. A huge little slant. <laughs> uh, right. And then that means that your boy could get the dock there, but it's out of navigationable waters. So if we pause, is that this not smooth? Flatten. Probably a big chunk of this in. And we're going to have to smoothen it. Work really hard on now smoothen the monstrosity that we've just created. Ta da! <laughs> right, edit this one. I always want to go for the large one because we can hold more people, potentially. There we go. Passenger. Landing. Large. Right, that's done there. Right, hang on. The WASD is messing up again. And then we got to do the same on here. Because this town is not connected to any other town. So I can maximize that ability to make money off it. So, you guys, you got to think smart. you got to think the best way. Well, you got to think of the way that you can milk the most amount of money, and that's by making them go on one hell of a journey to get to their destination. That makes you some serious money then at that point. I mean, the logical thing would be, why don't you just connect the train station up to there? No, I can make so much more money shipping them around that way. Right. And this makes my other lines make more money too. Okay. That's all done. So, let's now create a new line. So, we'll start there. Oh, Autosave. The autosave always catches me out. To there. To there. A nice little trio. Now, I could maybe integrate that line there to then bring it to here. Or I can have a separate line going back and forth there. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. I don't want to connect them just yet. Because they might bypass my whole system. They might be, they might be a bit too smart. Um, right, okay. I have the... No, I don't. Where? Oh, it's over there. I say the, um, the shipyard. I'll drop the shipyard here because I don't know which direction they're going to go heading in first. Never buy vehicles. Passenger. Now, is it potentially worth not having hovercrafts? But they're very, very slow. See, that's a little bit faster, that ferry. 70. Holds 100 people. Right, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy five... And then set them out at different times. So let's fast forward. The first vehicle. Oh no, not all of them. Line two, go. Go, 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 go. Try and do them at different times. Uh, 
and if I then make the next one go out, right, but this next one, we reverse it, so it goes in the, in the opposite way. Is that, the right, is that the right thing for me to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think when it gets to there, I'll reverse it one more time. And then we'll send... Where's that one going? That boat over there. I have no idea. That one out next. Well, that one's going next. And I'll wait a little bit now before I do the next ones. Right, if I reverse that one back around again, and then we've got a big gap between each one. And then when that one's about over here-ish, I might release the next... No, actually, when that one is about down here. So, is the people now waiting? Yeah, there's a couple of dudes waiting there. So, it would take a couple of loops to go around before we start to see some benefits. But that's now going to grow these towns. Grow that as well. Like that, that becomes almost like a transport hub at that point. Um, right, right, right. Oh no, that one's going that way. Oh, that's like actually quite a cool idea. Right, if I deploy that one then. Select you instead. To go. That one's actually going that way, isn't it? So what if I reversed it to head back? There we go. I'm waiting for it to make up its mind. I'm watching it right here, right now. Make up its mind and where it's going. I think we're now going in the right way. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think it's going the right way, guys. I've noticed it's having trouble here. It's having trouble there and just there. So I want to see what the, 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 the terrain's like. Flatten that peninsula a little bit. Smoothing all this off. As best as I can. The line still clips it anyway, so you're not really going to get much out of it. Right, I think we'll just leave it like that then. And that, again, is going to take a while before it does make money because the distances it has to travel. How is this line doing anyway? So that's dropping off some now some brand new wood that's got 35 in there boom there you go more wood dropping off boy that's going to pick up a load more wood how is the, the the tool factory that needs lots of planks it's making some delicious tools <laughs> and i feel like it almost just started to grow a bit more hasn't it charts oh snap yeah that's growing that's definitely growing. Plenty of wood here, there, and everywhere to be picked up. So that's all good for that train, which is now on the way back out. Is Why can't I select it? There we go. Is it making money? Finances? Oh, yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Wow. Well, right, how much money do we get now, then? As it drops off more wood. Oh, man. Money, money, money. All right, picking up all the uh, planks there. Ships them literally just down the road. Make some money, pick up some tools. Nice. It's the highest money we've made in a year so far. 
Now ship into the next destination. Which provides more tools for the area. Here we come, boys. It's in a new year anyway, so it's all good. Uh, right, that made 350,000. Nice. So this is just waiting to up the shipment levels. But it's slowly producing. And that will just go up as we, you know, deliver more and more goods over time. Now, what I could do here is, if I think about it, this line, line one, if it comes back from West Ilminster up there and it comes to upper, so if I get rid of that, add a stop there and there, I could make it pick up more tools here. So load tools there, unload wood. So the tools it picks up there and goes back that way and brings it back up to here might have a little bit more money coming in. It might up the shipment level as well. So it just carries more for longer. I wonder if that changes at all. It's just bypassed it anyway. I don't think it wants to even know about this station at the minute. <laughs> Why is it going back that way? Is it because I completely messed up? I think it was already onto this station on the way, wasn't it? Alright, dropping off the planks. Alright, back again we go, boys. I guess the lower Ilminster. Ilminster West, then Ilminster Central. Up at Ilminster, then starts again. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the bearings of where it's going. But we should be all good. Uh, how are we doing over here, then? Yeah, people are walking down. People are coming out of it. It's just been transported. We got three. I'm thinking five boats could have been a bit too. I mean, I was a little bit too optimistic, wasn't I, <laughs> with five boats? But something on T. I know we did destroy it a little bit, but that is now starting to have spikes on the graph. Drewsby, which we didn't delete, delete anything, is now getting spikes on the graph. So that's starting to grow. It's got four people on board. Makes. 60,000. So, yeah, we do need. Um... I mean, you start making money this first year, so we'll just see how that goes over time. We do have this little town over here, Southwick, in which we could connect it up by a road. So, they get those guys on the public transport system. I don't have anything over on these little towns here, public transport wise. I just have one cargo line to uh, Epworth. But I got Middleham over here, which I do need to connect up. Southwick would be the one that I connect to Drewsbury. But I could do it via a, like a line, you know, a road. So just out of interest. If I did this, I did a quite a fabulous bridge. We then should start to see people in Southwick leaving their house in vehicles which now is connected to Drewsbury, which we might then start seeing those guys using our new boats. And vice versa, you probably see people leaving Drewsbury right now in cars and heading to uh, Southwick. Yep, they're on the way. It's a glorious bridge. Glorious. Which causes Southwick to then slightly start growing. Well, it will do, because now we've got, like, destinations that it can go to. It's now, technically, Southwick is connected to the wide world, because they drive to here, get on the boat, it goes over to here, come down to there, down to there, and they're connected everywhere. Which is hilarious. For them to get from Southwick to, to example, Watford, which is right there, or even Middleham, they go on that big loop to get out here to drive out to there. <laughs> it's a pain, but it's hilarious. I like it. Right, is this train now doing the right things? Where's the train? How much money are you making, boy? We kind of messed up its whole whole vibe recently, didn't we? Um, 
Now that's got plenty of planks, but I can't get this ship. Oh, oh, it's the not that I'm thinking it's the transport. The shipment means I need to get to other places. I need to have more places it delivers to. Stockton on T's over there could do with some. But they carry passenger stuff. Just try and get that ramping up to start producing more. I feel like that's what I need it to do, don't I? Yeah. Charts, it's still growing anyway, so it's not a huge pain at the moment. Because it is making us some glorious cash. Alright, that loaded up nothing. <laughs> it had nothing to load. Damn it! And how much do we make now? 4.6 million. <sighs> oh, that's a record breaking year. I like it. Um, right. Right, right, right. Are we having record breaking profits? Charts. Uh, not charts, sorry, finances. Yeah, it's 117 million. Charts with tracks. High speed. What is this here? This is um, bridges. <laughs> Towns are on the growth as well, so they're reaching records as well. So it's all heading the right direction then. So I bet you now then it's just the boat line. Yeah, the shipping line here that's not making the money. Finances. Yeah. So I'm going to have to manage this line. And get rid of a couple of boats on that. Because they're not... Neat. I'll get rid of... We'll have two boats in total. That means those two boats... Will have a lot more passengers than normal as time goes on. And it's going in different directions. So they'll meet in different times. Great stuff. Right, I think that's the way we're going to push it forward then. Which is all good. What's our most profitable line at the moment? It is the... Plain fuel line here. Still killing it. And it's the CO fuel line here. Uh, iron. Where is the, the... Is it the goods loop? Is that this one over here? Yeah. I've been wanting to manage the train because... That doesn't bring as much goods out. Well, it just picks them up. But we have, I noticed, a lot of plastic over here. And a lot of steel waiting. So I might manage the vehicle to add in an additional... One of each. No, I'm going two of each. So that itself will make more money. So I'm interested to see right now. It make that sweet cash. So it loads up on the steel. And then this is going to load up on the plastic. I'm watching the month now. So you have a, a couple of good ones, then you have a low one because a year passes in its middle. So that's completely filled up right now. Wait to get over here. That's got loads of goods there that need to be shipped by the trucks. Which I could add a third truck on, which would be nice. Well, how far is this uh, train right now? Right, it's only over here. So I'm waiting for it to get up to speed again. I'm waiting for it to drop off the goods. And we'll see how much it makes and then if it goes higher than those previous ones. So here we go. Coming in hot and heavy. 7.5. Oh, look how much it shot up again. Damn, son. So a little bit more maintenance, but that doesn't matter because we're now making more money. And when I put the goods on in fourth place at that point, that's that's pretty sweet. Look at the plane loop right now. Now, is that constantly flying with more passengers than it can handle? I think we could uh, have another plane. Passenger, bow in here.
So that one's got over 80 odd. That's got 40 odd. That's got 100 odd there. So yeah, we could definitely have another plane flying around on that. Which, that was making good money anyway. We're now about to double it. So that could be a contender for the most profitable line as well. Twenty-one on board. Ilmins is growing. It's growing, boys. It's a growing. Checking Ilmins once more. Yeah, that, that's how kind of ridiculous. That's grown, man. Ilmins, that's crazy. Um, six passengers waiting over there. Southwick, are you starting to grow now? Not quite, to be honest with you. Not quite. If I had a, like a bus going back and from, then it would grow. How has Stockton grown? Yeah, it's now back on the rise again. Who's on board? Nine. 74,000. So I've reduced the um, the running costs. And we'll just see how it kind of goes over time as well. It's just one of them things. It will take time. If I could grow the towns, it will be perfect. So, for example, Southwick here needs um, the construction materials, which only needs stuff from over here. So that's a nice, simple line there, back and forth, a triangle we can create there, which could grow Southwick with one of its needs. Uh, Drewsby also needs the goods as well. So actually, I can create a line that delivers to both. That also needs food, which I don't have any farms nearby, do I? No, it's all over this way, but... I've already got food going to like Market Drayton, which is trying to feed that city, that town. But it's all there. It also needs tools. Do I have any other tool factories nearby? I don't. We just have this over here, which is really, really far. It would be easier to get it to somewhere a bit closer, which would be Stockton over there. But we'll see how things go. Watford also needs the uh, construction materials as well. So you got a nice little triple threat there. So that, yeah, we can make that a five star very, very easily. But we'll see how it goes anyway, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode anyway. Um, these ships should be making more money as time. Look, look, we're now making record profits. See, we've seen as we reduced it down to two because, yeah, I know. And it'll be this year where you see minimal um, or slightly lower running costs as well. Right, I mean, but that's got 13 on board. That's got 13 on... Oh, have they both got 13 on board? It looks like they have. So that'll be interesting. It's going to pick up now. Currently, three people are there at the moment. But we'll get those continually grown as time goes on. Where's that shipping? Area? We'll see how much money it makes when it drops it off at this point. And then we... Uh, Engage. We are on the long run with these with this boat and line. Hundred and fifty eight thousand. Wow, that that boat alone made more on the line than the previous year for the full year. What? That's crazy. That really is. How many people are waiting over here? Eighteen. So yeah, I think these lines are going to slowly come into their own. But we'll see as time goes on. Oh, that's growing quite nice. So we just got to keep upping it and working on it. And we'll eventually, we'll eventually get there anyway. But guys, we are going to end it for here today. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. Look at the finances right now. Up and up and up. So... Good.